And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here with another episode of Law and Order Legacies. Last time we left off, we beat Nobody's Child. What? Two and a half stars. Two and a half stars. What is this shit? I got three stars on that one. Two and a half on that one. Obviously, I'm not doing good enough. Or maybe that's for the herrings. Oh, this looks amazing. <laughs> episode 5. Ear witness. Wait, 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 wait. A young blind boy and his mother are walking to the market which she has gunned down. The boy must identify her attacker by voice alone. But will it stand up in court? Oh, this is amazing. In the criminal justice system, <laughs> the people are represented by two separate... Oh, we've just started and I'm already... I'm glad I woke up today for this shit. ...attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Oh... I'm excited. The Busy Mart. Alphabet City. Come on, Henry. The store's across the street. No holding hands now. Just follow my voice. One day you're going to have to do all this on your own. Well, that's mean. Mm, I don't like the look of this. Hey! You're the ones who shot PK! Yeah, whatever. Hook gang banging ain't for you, son. Stay in school. Yo! Say that again in my face, son! Take my hand now, Henry. Let's get inside. No, 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 no. There's no call for that. Uh-oh. Mama? Nina. Mama? Look at these glasses. Oh, that's that's terrible. What what no? Oh I'm no. I'm no. I I don't even know what to say. Detectives? Hey, Fontana. What do we got? Fontana. Now, the victim is one Shar Jackson, age 26. Lived in the neighborhood. She was walking with her son, Henry, when she apparently got caught in the crossfire during a gang dispute. The crack security guard they got here claims he saw most of it. What about the kid? He see the shooter? Uh-oh. No. Kid's blind. Oh. Well, anything else? <laughs> That's the same reaction the I had. claims he saw two cars leave the scene, but didn't get makes or models. Lucky for us, he's a car guy. Says the engine on one was really, really loud. Let me walk you through what CSU picked up. Got a receipt dated today. Four bottles of Mad Scott. Someone was getting the drink on. Three shell casings. Maybe from the nine mil we found. Did they all f land right we next to each other like baby. that? I thought we had our murder weapon, but now I'm not so sure. Saturday night special. Fake wooden handle. Man, this thing is a piece of... Uh, work. Over there we got some gang graffiti. PK, it says. PK? Probably a tag. One of the locals. We're asking around. Bunch of beer bottles. Hoping to get some DNA, maybe. We got a can of spray paint, freshly used. <laughs> what? Maybe get some prints off that. And that's about the size of it. Find any cigarette butts or anything? I'm hoping to get lucky with another DNA hit. Nah, nothing like that, unfortunately. Oh, there's tons now, of the cigarette butts around the place. This part of town. Maybe someone swept up last night. Hard to say. Oh, and one more thing. What's that? The kid doesn't know his mom's dead yet. <sighs> Guess we're clear. Let's talk to our witnesses. Oh, man. We can get him out of here. Why would they not tell him? Hi there. It's Henry, right? I'm Olivia. And this, um, with me is my partner, Ray. Henry, I know this is really hard, but we need to ask you some questions so we can help your mom, okay? They just left is him there? Dead? Do you have any family we can call for you, Henry? We don't have anybody, my mama and me. Henry, did your mom believe in heaven? Uh oh. We go to church every Sunday. She sings in the choir. Well, your mom is in heaven now. Oh my God! That's where she'll be when you see her again. A long time from now. Henry, we can do this another time. <laughs> That's sure how they broke into him? Call? I can tell you what happened. I heard everything. Wow. I... <laughs> I want to... It's sad. I almost teared up. They got a really good voice actor for the kid. But it's just like, <laughs> do you believe in heaven? What if he said no? What do you say then? 
Oh, wow. Did you hear the gunshots, Henry? I heard three. One after the other. My ears still hurt. Can you point to where you heard them from? Over there. How would he know if they moved him around? Is Henry right about the number of shots fired? Yes, there's three casings. A cashier in the store reported hearing three shots. Three shell casings were found. Officer Fontana reported that the victim was shot three times. Three bullet holes were found in the wall of the stone. Dun 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 I gotta try to cheer myself up over this. I don't know. Whew. Ice cream. No. Gang fight. Did you hear anything unusual before your mother was shot, Henry? There was a fight. Was your mother involved? He's not even crying now. Uh-uh. They were gangbangers. My mama called them one time. They started shouting and cussing each other. Then I heard them fighting. Could you tell if they were close or far away? There. They were over there. One of them said, y'all the one who shot PK. And then the others, they just laughed. And then that's when they started to fight. Is the boy correct? Could PK be connected to the local gangs? Well, yeah. A poster in the store window offered a reward for information. The death name. Some gang graffiti on the store memorializes. Memorializes. Oh, so that's a memorial? I didn't know that's what that was. Officer Fontana reported a man named PK in newspaper park. No, graffiti. <laughs> memorial. A memorial. That's what it was. Ice cream. Other sounds. Ice cream is obviously sure the bad one. Understand, Henry. You pointed one way when we asked you where the fight happened. But you pointed the other way when we asked you where the shots came from. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. What else did you hear besides the shots? Would one of the men who were fighting yell, say that to my face right before the shots. Afterward, I heard another man cry out the name Nina. Nina. You're sure? Yes, ma'am. First the gunshot, then he said Nina, then everybody ran. Did the shooter shout out the name of the victim? No, his mom's not named Nina. It's something else. I forgot, but... Nina is the name of a tropical storm approaching the Northeast. <laughs> the victim is identified. The victim was Laverne Johnson, as reported by officer. The victim was Shar Jackson, as reported. Oh, God, which one was it? I totally didn't pay attention to her name. I think they're Jacksons, though. I don't think it ever said Johnson. So, Shar... Yeah? Yes! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ice cream, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, I don't even know how to lighten this one. It's so sad. You said everyone ran after the shots were fired. How could you tell, Henry? Uh, I heard feet on the pavement. A couple of people ran that way. Then I heard some other people get inside a car behind me, out on the street. They screeched their tires when they drove off. Probably our gangbangers leaving the scene. Anything else? Yeah, I heard another car over there. Someone got in and drove away real fast. Check the recorders. Is Henry right about how many cars left the scene? Um... I guess yes. The guy said earlier they saw multiple cars leave, right? Officer Fontana. I'm just gonna go with him if there's a thing. The blind have more developed sense of hearing. Okay. It's true, but still, if there were two groups of game makers, it stands to reason there would be two cars. The first skid marks were due to cars were found. We didn't look. Officer Fontana related that the security guard said, Yeah, anything Officer Fontana said, yes. That's what we're going with. Ice cream cars. Henry, did you hear anything when the cars drove away? Maybe a funny noise, like a rattle or a squeak. I heard a Dodge Charger with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Good God! Parked over there. God, what? What? How does this kid know this? Uh, they mentioned a loud car, but they didn't say that. Nice digging. How do we know? Lieutenant Van Buren, a security guard, Detective Vincent, the cranky old woman. Uh... I would usually... Get, these two aren't even here. Well, she's here, but she's not doing anything. She just tells little kids their mom's in heaven. 
There's no cranky old woman, so I'm gonna go with the security guard. Wow. Wow. How could you tell, Henry? <laughs> I heard the door ringing when they opened it. Dodge Charge is the only car makes that noise when you open the door with the key still inside. We believe you, Henry. But how do you know that? My pastor's son used to have the same car oh, before no. he left for college. I know everything about that car. I even helped him fix it. We'll check it out. Thanks, Henry. Go see Officer Fontana for a second, okay? He's still not even crying. He's a smart kid. Brave, too. He believes what he heard, but will any of this hold up in court? Well, I believe it, too. You trust my instincts? Uh -oh. So far, but I, I trust your boobies. Honest. I'm worried you might be a little compromised here. Compassion for an 11 year old who just lost his mother doesn't compromise me, Curtis. Oh, shit. Hey, I want to nail the scumbag who did this just as much as you. Let's talk to our other witness. Good lord, they're already going at each other. <laughs> we need some more Officer Fontana. He needs to be on the uh, the groove. When I start playing mon multiplayer games, I need to start writing down names of characters from these shows that uh, need more time, and I'll use them in my online or or our, my streams. We could take Officer Fontana to uh, the Oregon Trail. All right, let's continue. Jesus, it's about time. You know, it took 20 minutes for the squad cars to get here. Not that I blame them. How's that? Look around you, detective. They shoot each other every day out here. They even shoot at the paramedics who come to help them. They're animals. Animals. Ooh. All this gangbanger scum. This neighborhood used to be great. Never worried about anything. Paradise, huh? Anyway, saw the whole thing. Go ahead. Ask me anything. This guy's gonna lie. He's already way too cocky. You see who took the shots? Not exactly. There was too many of them. But I know they came from the gangbangers that were tearing up the asphalt in the parking lot. How can you be sure? I saw the whole thing. First they were fighting, the next minute, bam, bam, just two shots. It's all two killed, shots. And they scatter like rats. <laughs> no, he's already lying. They scatter like rats. Three shell casings equal three shots, plus the boy's testimony confirms. The coroner found three shots. Oh, we moved out the corner. Officer Fontana, Officer Fontana. Four shell casings, okay, so that one's not there. Okay, he didn't report there was three gunshots were heard. He had the casings. They're trying to be tricky. Trying to be tricky. Actually, we found three shell casings. You did? Weird. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is just like, whoa. Like, man. Ugh. Alright, what did you see? Mad Sc Who's Mad Scott Sherry? Animals. What the hell? Where were you when all this was happening? In the store. I came out not long after the fight started. Did you see anyone else in the parking lot besides the gangbangers? Nah, honestly, I love it when gangbangers kill each other. But if I'd have seen that lady and her kid, I would have called the police sooner, you know? So, no one else besides the bangers, the kid, and his mom? No. Any possible reason to suspect the security guard wasn't actually in the store? Um, yeah, yeah, I've got it. It wouldn't ask this if it was a no. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He would have had to have been on the inside to call the police. No. The music in the store was too loud for him to hurt any fighting going on inside. The boy clearly heard a man in the parking lot yell out the name Nina. The security guard did not mention this. He claimed to have been in the back of the store before the fight. He never said that. So we're using this little boy's testimony against him. And it worked. Hmm. Mad Scott Sherry, other testimony. I want to see what this you one is. You get a look at whoever bought the bottle of Mad Scott or Oh, the hell drink. no. I'm not a damn cashier. I'll Where's the cashier? What? Shouldn't be hard to figure it out. We're the only store that sells that garbage in like a hundred miles. No one else will touch it. But the uh, good citizens around here seem to like it. Oh, so it's a drink. Oh, not Mad Sh Scott Sherry, like a name. It's Mad Scott Sherry, like the cooking stuff. You know, it's alcohol. Okay, I, I get it now. Okay. You know what, David? Your story doesn't jive real well with the other witness testimony. Who? Some blind kid? Maybe we should take this conversation downtown. Let you sit in the tank for a while. Oh, wait, wow. Wait, I remember. 
I went to the alley for a smoke break. When I finished, I started walking back towards the store, and that's when the fight broke out. Okay? You have reason to doubt his story. Yes! Yes! I... Yeah, yeah, he's lied the whole time. I have to doubt it. David, you cocksucker. Smoking within 20 feet of the doorway is illegal. I have no idea. The boy would have smelled cigarette. His olfactory senses are acute. What? The security guard claimed he didn't smoke. No cigarettes or butts were found in the alley. Uh, well, they said that one. Oh, wow. Smoke break? That's what you're going with. <laughs> Why did... I just, I don't get why people lie so much. Smoke break. We didn't find any evidence of smoking in the alley, David. Though we did find an empty six-pack of beer. Oh. You mind giving us a swab of your DNA? For comparison. What? You'd do that for us, right? Do your part to clean up the neighborhood? <laughs> All right, fine. I was back there drinking. So let's try this again. What did you see? I was just inside the alley. I was having a beer. I saw the gangbangers getting into it. So wouldn't they smell that on him? The gangbangers. That's what we want to know. You recognize any of these guys? One of them is called Lil Doc. He's been looking to cap someone. Not Char Jackson. No. Some other banger killed his homie PK. Homie. Like the tag in the alley. Yeah. And he'll do it too. He's got a gun. How do you know? Because he shoved it right in my face once when I told him to leave the store. So you got a good look? Yeah, cheap little Saturday night special. Silver, fake wooden handle. Oh. It looked like a Glock, but it was obviously a knockoff. <laughs> what a joke. He is telling the truth because we found that earlier. David, good job. You finally did something great for society. He wouldn't lie about a gun-related incident. Most small-time gangbangers carry Saturday night specials. His description of the gun matches the one found at the crime scene. The guard obviously lacks the intelligence to make up a story so detailed. <laughs> oh, I would totally want to put that one. We'll go with this. That's funny. Uh, I guess cars, because we need to find that. There's nothing here about animals. You said you saw two cars leaving the scene. You remember makes and models? Plates? One of them was really loud. Like... Oh my god. V8. Something big. I turned to look when the driver gunned it. I caught some of the plate. Can we be reasonably sure that the security guard is telling the truth? Yes, because the little boy said it was. The boy in Fontana saw the license plate? Nope. The boy said the car was a Ford Mustang with a large Hemi V8 engine? Nope. He wouldn't lie about something so specific? Mm, maybe. The boy confirmed the car was a Dodge Charger with a large Hemi V8 engine. There we go. I bet we have to go okay, after that one guy down. Sit tight. We may be back later. So what do we got? The testimony of an 11-year-old who can't see and a security guard hiding in the alley. We got a partial license plate and a name. I'll call the gang unit, see if they can put a name to Little Doc a before gang. someone else gets hurt during this little turf war. Wow. This episode, it, it started off so sad and then it went back into its terrible... We've got idiots among us. I just... Ah. Oh. Well, I guess we're going to go after Little Doc next episode. Maybe. I mean, we're going to have to find him, right? That's all I can think of. <laughs> Little Doc. My next door neighbor used to be named Doc. He's an old man. He used to make fun of me for being fat when I was little. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I'll end the episode here, gamers. I will see you all next time. Good night.